Hey Taurus, welcome to your general love read. We are moving into your month ahead forecast, okay? But as any general read, remember that roles can be reversed. I could be reading like old baggage that you just cannot release and new energy that's coming in. If you are new, welcome. I am an intuitive, so a lot of what you see on my channel may not be traditional. If you've returned, thank you. I have much gratitude for you, my friend, okay? So I'm going to pull here for the collective. All right, and then we're going to get some intention for this reading. See where our spirit's taking us. Oof. All right, let's get started. All right. Ah. I'm like, what was hidden? Hidden. You've got the root chakra and grounding. So something is coming in, all right, Tara? Something's coming in where you're going to be shocked, okay? So you need to stay very, very grounded, all right, collective? And the one that came out hidden here, all right, is really about you're going to have to love yourself first when this illumination comes in. You may be finding out someone's been lonely, right? And leaving the nest, okay? So you're going to have to love yourself first, okay? But we will see a little bit more as we dig into the storyline. So I'm going to look at you on one side, your person on the other, all right? If it needs to be reversed, just move it around, right? Okay, so let's take a look here. Taurus. Your person. So you're starting the month here, okay, really in your head. Um, ego is telling you, like ego is playing a big part here. And ego is important. Ego is what keeps us safe. It's our primal brain, right? But ego can overwork. And that's what I'm seeing here right now is that your ego is overworking. All right. And it's telling you, right, warning, warning, warning. As you move into the month, I feel like whatever your fears are, someone's going to lay them to rest. Four of Swords in reverse. And at the end of the month, Two of Cups, happy and joy. All right. This person, okay, beginning of the month, Four of Cups. There's a lot of fantasizing going about on about something here. Okay, middle of the month. They're going to get clarity. Ace of Swords with the Nine of Pentacles. There may be, this clarity may be, be bringing a, around like a huge transformation. Like, because I'm like, I, I can talk, right? It's going to be very much Mercury retrograde energy. And huge transformation of the feminine and the masculine, I feel here. Um, this person, if you go watch my tiger medicine video, you might find a little more um, information that is applying to this situation. But this person's going to get a big dose of transformation and clarity. End of the month, okay. Five of Pentacles in reverse, Six of Cups in reverse. I feel like this is totally a Mercury retrograde reading, okay? I feel like someone's ex is coming back, and by the end of the month, right? Like, done with it, okay? So, let's get some clarity. Tell me about the overworking brain here, right? Okay, because this is your divine partnership, and you put all of your hopes and dreams into this, okay? But there's the emperor 
That's my time traveler emperor. So someone is definitely messaging with someone from the past, but know that this is coming in at the right time to make this person very aware, I feel like, of their emotions. Okay, because there's been some fantasizing and some wondering if the grass was greener on the other side. Okay, and nine of wands. Okay, perhaps they've been a little guarded or you've been a little guarded. But the universe has always had everyone's best interest in mind in this situation. So middle of the month. Okay, pulled back, but yet yeah, I'm in love. Okay, Queen of Cups. But I am pulling myself back, right, to make sure that I'm getting my worth, right? And Queen of Pentacles going on with days, business as usual, but wearing this mask, right? Knowing what's going on here. And perhaps you're friends with this person from the past is what I'm getting for someone. And you're watching. You see the deceptiveness, okay? I feel like your mind was running away with you or will run away with you in this situation. Okay, the chariot with the five of swords. You're imagining this brutal, okay, betrayal. Okay, but this person here, right? Yeah, thinking about taking a leap of faith, but here comes these butterflies to transform me. All of a sudden, I'm realizing here, from the Fool to the Ten of Wands, right? Like, maybe I'm just tired. Okay, maybe it's just that you're not fighting for this that I'm dealing with, right? Because maybe you have been tired. Maybe you have been run down. Maybe you haven't been putting in what this person wants, right? You're pulled back. But maybe that was necessary for them to realize that it doesn't need to be one-sided, okay? Okay, end of the month. This is the Two of Cups, but I don't know what our future holds. You're going to choose you. Eight of Cups, Ace of Cups, right? I'm choosing me in this situation. Yeah, somebody's like, uh-oh, my secret is found out. Okay, really, the star, seven of swords, on the seven of swords, you're the only one that I want. Page of pentacles, eight of pentacles. This person is gonna put in the effort, the time, the work. Okay, they don't want to lose you. Yeah, there's King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. That's my engagement card. Okay, this person does not want to lose you, right? Knight of Swords, Death, Seven of Wands. They're ready to have that transformation, have this rebirth, and I feel like they're ready to fix things. Let's look at the emotions here, okay? You've got a little bit of pride, okay, in yourself, a little bit of respect for yourself. You're not going to uh, put in, if they're, if you know who this other person is, you're like, I'm not gonna go there. If, if my person leaves me for you, then they weren't mine to begin with and I don't wanna lower my standards by dealing with you, right? But you're very intrigued of this, like, unknown, right? I don't know where this is going. And, you know, they're showing me the meme of this is me waking up at my ex's house with bangs at the end of Mercury Retrograde. Like, you may be putting a lot of like overthinking into it, like, oh, it's Mercury retrograde. Everything's going to fall apart, but it's not really, okay?
okay? This person has been chaotic and that's what's pulling them into this energy this month, okay, right? Everything on their plate burned out, too much work, too much, you know, of the home stuff, right? And this person comes along and starts feeding into their confidence while you're doing regular day-to-day -day things. And that's what plays into it for them, okay? And that's all. Okay, yep, divine timing with the world, okay? Knight of Cups. I feel like this was all timed so that this person could finally get clear, right? The world with the Knight of Cups on top of my time traveling emperor. It's time to get clear about what it is that I truly want in this situation. And it's good. Ten of Pentacles here. You do not have to keep looking over your shoulder when this is over to know whether or not you are the chosen one. Yeah. Okay, in truth here, I feel like it's really funny. This person could have been like the ex-wife I'm getting or the ex-husband, okay? And they're flirting and they're sending things online, but there was no coming together of it because spirits got your back. Okay, Ace of Cups in reverse with the Queen of Wands here. And this Queen of Wands is not giving any action to the King of Wands. Right? I feel like they are just, you know, sometimes the Queen of Wands is a bitch. Okay? I feel like that's all this person was just kind of getting their rocks off, whoever it is, out of the attention. Right? Yeah. Okay. You're thinking, right, the chariot is going to, like with the Five of Swords, is going to poof everything betrayal. But chariot in reverse, just to clarify and tell you, no, that's not how it's going to happen. Is this person considering things? Yes. Are you a divine partnership? Also, yes. Okay, are you also in your head? Yes. But this person will come back around to you, Six of Cups. Okay, they just need, I feel like, to go through this. Okay, you are their strength. They need to feel that again. Again, I feel like they've been tired. Um, you've kind of not been paying attention to them. Page of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. I feel like they just got their feelings hurt and someone from the past started flirting with them, right? And... They were dragging their feet, Knight of Pentacles, right, um, towards anything. Not you, not them. They were just in the minute of it. But it was meant to be this kind of slow down, tragic sort of thing for them um, to get their head straight. But again, I really feel like, you know, this is what this lockdown has done to so many relationships. Okay. You are hurt here, right? At the end of the month, who wouldn't be? Because in a way this was, right? This could have been somewhat of an emotional affair. Okay, Eight of Swords on top of the Ten of Swords. You're still bound to this, but you're not going to go back to the way that this has been in the past. You're like, no, I've turned away from this. I need more. Okay. Four of Cups crossing. You need to know that they're not going to do this again, right? And there's kind of an ultimatum here. But here they are, okay? 
at the very beginning, they needed to figure out where they were going. Okay, Knight of Cups. Do I cross the river? What do I do? You needed to know that you couldn't, didn't have to look over your shoulder anymore. Okay, look at the Eight of Wands. They've crossed the river. Okay, I know where I'm going. I'm coming home. There's the bottom of the deck, Queen of Cups. You're waiting with your cup. Okay, this person, right? Three of Wands. I figured out where my passion is. I'm going to put in the effort. I'm going to put in the work. Okay. The emperor is like, listen, I'm not going to let that take me away from where I meant to sit on this throne, right? Because we've got the emperor with the nine of pentacles. Like they know if they lose you, they lose all the value in their life. And they're not going to go there, right? They've seen what a, the leap of faith would actually cost them now. They're not going to go there. Yeah, you and this person have a lot of passion. There's a lot of heart in this because it is a divine partnership and reconciliation. Okay, so the struggle is real. But the coming together is also real. Okay, let your friends help you. This person is asking for advice. And some of their advice may not be great. Okay? They may have some friends that prefer the ex. Yeah. Okay, past life relationship. So this is somebody from the past for them. But look at that engagement <laughs> and reconciliation they are coming back around and they are worth waiting for okay so they needed to figure this out and i love that because remember this is my card of engagement just as a reminder so let's pull an oracle card here to finish it off all right yeah, you and this person are going to come together. Aligned, blessed, beautiful energy. The challenge is that they have to put their heart into it. They have to know that this is where their heart belongs. We've got a five and a five together. This is a ten. It's a completion of a cycle. Okay, so have faith. Have faith that it's all going to work out in your favor. All right? I hope this helped you, and I hope you have a beautiful rest of your week. If you've watched this far, please click on the like. That's how you energetically give back to the channel, as well as how to help other people get to see the message. So much love, my friends. Bye.